10 Principles of Good Manufacturing Practices Bloodhouse Bio Unlocking the Biopharma Journey from Genes to Medicines GMP is a set of guidelines that ensure that the products manufactured in a facility meet the required quality standards and are safe for human consumption. GMP is a fundamental requirement for companies that manufacture drugs, medical devices, and dietary supplements. In this video, we will discuss the 10 principles of GMP and provide examples of how they are implemented in manufacturing facilities. Number 1. Quality Management System The first principle of GMP is the establishment of a quality management system QMS that covers all aspects of manufacturing operations. A QMS includes written procedures for all operations and systems, including personnel training, equipment maintenance, documentation control, and corrective and preventive actions. Examples of a QMS include ISO 9001 and FDA's Quality System Regulation QSR. Here are some examples of how the quality management system is implemented in manufacturing facilities. Written procedures for all operations and systems such as standard operating procedure SOPs, work instructions, and batch records are used to ensure that manufacturing operations are consistent and meet the required quality standards. Implementation of quality management systems such as ISO 9001 and FDA's Quality System Regulation QSR. Number 2. Personnel. The second principle of GMP is the qualification and training of personnel. Personnel involved in manufacturing operations must have the necessary education, training, and experience to perform their jobs effectively. Examples of personnel qualifications include education, experience, and training records. Here are some examples of how the personnel is implemented in manufacturing facilities. Personnel involved in manufacturing operations must have the necessary education, training, and experience to perform their jobs effectively. Employee qualification and training records are maintained to ensure that personnel are qualified for their roles. Number 3. Facilities and Equipment The third principle of GMP is the maintenance and calibration of facilities and equipment. Manufacturing facilities must be designed, constructed, and maintained to ensure that products are manufactured in a safe and clean environment. Equipment used in manufacturing must be calibrated and maintained to ensure accuracy and reliability. Examples of facilities and equipment include clean rooms, air handling systems, and manufacturing equipment. Number 4. Materials. The fourth principle of GMP is the control of materials used in manufacturing. Materials used in manufacturing must be approved and their sources must be identified and qualified. Materials must be stored, handled, and transported to prevent contamination, damage, or deterioration. Examples of materials include raw materials, packaging materials, and labeling materials. Here are some examples of how the materials is implemented in manufacturing facilities. Raw materials, packaging materials, and labeling materials used in manufacturing are approved and their sources are identified and qualified. Materials are stored, handled, and transported to prevent contamination, damage, or deterioration. Number 5. Production. The fifth principle of GMP is the control of production processes. Manufacturing processes are documented, validated, and controlled to ensure that products are manufactured consistently and meet the required quality standards. Examples of production controls include process validation, in-process testing, and monitoring of critical process parameters. Number 6. Quality Control The sixth principle of GMP is the control of finished products. Finished products must be tested and verified to ensure that they meet the required quality standards before they are released for sale or distribution. Examples of quality control tests include identity testing, potency testing, and microbiological testing. Number 7. Documentation and Records The seventh principle of GMP is the maintenance of accurate and complete documentation and records. All manufacturing operations must be documented and records must be maintained to demonstrate that products were manufactured in accordance with the approved procedures. Examples of documentation and records include batch records, equipment maintenance records, and personnel training records. Number 8. 
sanitation, and hygiene. The eighth principle of GMP is the maintenance of a clean and hygienic manufacturing environment. Manufacturing facilities must be cleaned regularly to prevent contamination and maintain a safe and healthy environment for personnel. Examples of sanitation and hygiene practices include cleaning and disinfecting surfaces, providing hand washing facilities, and wearing protective clothing. Number 9. Complaints and Recalls. The ninth principle of GMP is the establishment of procedures for handling complaints and recalls. Manufacturers must have procedures for investigating and resolving product complaints and for recalling products that do not meet the required quality standards. Examples of procedures for handling complaints and recalls include complaint investigation, product evaluation, and product recall. Number 10. Supplier Management. The tenth principle of GMP is the management of suppliers. Manufacturers must ensure that their suppliers are qualified and that the materials they supply meet the required quality standards. Manufacturers must also ensure that suppliers are regularly audited to ensure that they continue to meet the required quality standards. Examples of supplier management practices include supplier qualification, supplier audits, and supplier. And that's it. We've covered the 10 principles of good manufacturing practices and provided some examples of how they are implemented in manufacturing facilities. To summarize 10 principles of good manufacturing practices. Number 1. Quality management system. Number 2. Personnel. Number 3. Facilities and equipment. Number 4. Materials. Number 5. Production. Number 6. Quality control. Number 7. Documentation and records. Number 8. Sanitation and hygiene. Number 9. Complaints and recalls. Number 10. Supplier management. Remember, adherence to these principles is essential for ensuring that products are consistently manufactured to meet the required quality standards and ultimately to ensure the safety and well-being of consumers. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on topics related to manufacturing and quality control. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.